Hey guys, I'm so excited to pop on here today to talk about how business is the key to making, or let's hold that thought because we're going to start off on a good note today on a Monday. Shadow work is the key to making your business abundant AF. This is a topic that's so important for me, so I'm really excited to take the time to dive in with all of you to answer any questions that you have about your own business and how shadow work might be something that can really, really help pop the lid off of it and kind of make it move in the way that you feel like it's supposed to. For those of you who are new to my world, my name is Danielle Massey, and I am by trade a licensed psychotherapist and my background's in psychology and neuroscience. And my fun time, my real work, my passion in this life is as a shadow worker. For those of you who have never heard of the shadow before, shadow is anything that lives within your unconscious mind. And shadow work is the process of going in and pulling that stuff out of the unconscious and making it into something that's very conscious so that you can deal with it. And when we do that, when we actually go into the unconscious and we make that subconscious, so much becomes apparent because now we know what it is that's blocking us. We know what it is that's stopping our success, getting in our way, and we can actually do the work to heal it. So shadow work is huge. I got into shadow work because I did the most incredible transformational business program. And when I was done with it, my business didn't pop off the way that I wanted it to, not because I didn't have all of the amazing tools and everything ready for me. And as hard as I tried, as much as I tried to force it, it wasn't really going anywhere. It was when I started doing the shadow work and really diving into my unconscious that things started to change immensely. And I'll tell you more about why that happened later on in this. So let's just start with why business and shadow are so interconnected, right? Because they're completely connected. Everything in your life is kind of connected to your shadow through the aura. Everyone has an aura. Everyone has an aura that kind of exists around their body. And your aura consists of four subtle bodies. The one that's sort of closest to it is the physical body. And that physical body is like the most inwards. After that is the emotional body of the aura. Extending out beyond that is the mental. And then lastly, the one after that is the spiritual. And so when we do work with the aura, we're really looking to clear out anything that could be stuck in there, anything that could be kind of clogging it up or making you feel like you're not living your most aligned life. So just take a moment to think about your own life. Think about the things that sort of make you feel like you're walking through sludge. When you try and do something new, like say you have an idea that makes you really excited or a project or something brand new and you get all this energy and you want to go do it and then after a little while you start to stop yourself, you self-sabotage and it's like you're walking through mud or muck and it's just pulling you back, pulling you down. This is how we self-sabotage and everyone does it a little bit different and it's directly related to your aura. Those four subtle bodies of the aura, the physical, the emotional, the mental and the spiritual all have their own blocks associated with them. So just for instance, the physical could be that physically you stop yourself by doing things like having horrible eating patterns. It could be that you have pain that exists within your body and use that as the excuse not to do things. Like physically my body can't take it and so I'm just gonna skip it. I'm not gonna go forth with that idea. I need to slow down. I need to binge in front of Netflix for a while, right? We've all been there. Okay, then the next one after that's the emotional. So the feelings that you have around it. Like when you get that business idea and you're so excited, emotionally, you might stop yourself because it feels too hard. So you feel anxiety, you feel depression, you feel that intense overwhelm. And at extremes, it might even feel like something like PTSD, where your whole body shuts down because it can't handle what's to come. The idea of breaking out of this homeostasis is just too intense. And then the last one is the spiritual body. And this one extends the furthest out. And that one is really connected to how aligned are you with your mission? Are you actually doing what you're supposed to be doing in terms of your soul's mission? Or are you doing what you think you're supposed to do? Like go to your nine to five job and work a lot of hours and make money because someone told you that's the way that you do things, right? These four layers of the aura have to be cleared out. The shadow has to be removed from them in order to actually show up as your most abundant, most aligned, highest vibe self. And that is something that only shadow work can do. Every other modality that you've seen, everything that you come across, 
works to you know clear out the ore and to do all these amazing things but if we don't tackle the root of why that problem ended there in the first place it's just going to grow back it's just going to be a repeat later on it's sort of like if you want to weed your garden and instead of actually weeding the garden you're like oh let's just clip off the top part that i can see and then you know we'll deal with it later we'll deal with it later we won't even bother Everybody has different things that clog up our auras. Everybody has different blocks. And there might be some that exist for you and others are fine. Like physically, you might be in amazing shape. You might not have any pains. You might not stop yourself in that way. Maybe it's an emotional thing. Like not being able to deal with your emotions and trying to push them down. Keep working, keep your head down, don't feel. And that blocks you. And all of those blocks that live within the auras exist in the unconscious mind. And so when we do shadow work, what we're doing is we're going into that unconscious and we're finding those things and we're bringing them up to the surface and dealing with them. And a lot of the time, the stuff that lives in that unconscious mind is stuff that we've been carrying around for, you know, 20 years, 30 years, lifetimes. It can be generational stuff, like having issues that your grandparents dealt with that you now carry as your burden. It can be all those things. It just depends on you. And so some people experience this more than other people. If you think about the business people that you see out in the world, the ones who say have a coaching business and it just popped off immediately and they have all these clients and the money is flowing and they live in these amazing places and why is it so easy for them, right? Why is it so easy for them? The reason is because they're carrying less stuff in their shadow. They don't have as much muck to work through, good, bad, or otherwise. And I learned this the hard way when I did that program I told you guys about earlier that when I graduated, I had all the tools, everything was ready. It was about to go. And it was still like, I was sort of like being sucked down. It was like muck was just kind of holding me in place. And as I worked through my own shadow, guess what changed? All of a sudden I became abundant. All of a sudden clients would show up to me. All of a sudden things just started to move at the most incredible rates. And all that I changed was that I did my shadow work period. And so I want to know from you guys, any questions that you have about the shadow and why it is that it's so interconnected into our business. Very often I have people come to me in my Create Your Light Academy and they come in saying, I have had a business for years or I'm just starting a business and it feels like I can't get it moving. It feels like I'm so stuck in it. Stuck is a word that I hear all the time. I feel so stuck in this business. And after doing shadow work for just a few short weeks, all of a sudden, everything changes. All of a sudden, the client starts to show. They become more aligned with their own message. Their self-sabotage stops. And that's a big one for me because, man, as human beings, we love to self-sabotage. We self-sabotage ourselves like crazy. And that was something I used to see all the time as a therapist, too, is these patterns that we have. And they're almost never ours. They're things that we learn from other people. Like how many of you guys spend a ridiculous amount of time just scrolling through TikTok or, you know, binge watching Netflix shows. And it's so normal, right? We talk about this all the time, like Netflix and chill is like just something that you do, or you go down the rabbit hole of Reddit, or you're supposed to scroll through TikTok. Like, of course you have to be up on the latest stuff, right? It's so socialized for us to do this. You have to do the work that's underlying. Someone just said, do the work. Yeah. You have to do the work that's underneath. And it might not feel as sexy as just like going out there and having it all work, but nothing good comes from like avoiding what it is that you need to do. Nothing good comes from a place of avoidance. It's when you're ready, when you're finally ready to make that change and you're gonna tackle it head on that you see real amazing results. And that's what Create Your Light Academy is all about. It's like uncorking the potential that you have using shadow work, getting rid of all that stuff that's just mucking you up and getting in the way and letting it become your story, your power as you make your way through it. You use your experience and your dysfunctional patterns and all the things that you learned on the way to help your own clients, to live in alignment, to let money flow to you instead of trying to force it to come to you. We are meant to be abundant. We are meant to have money come to us. The universe is not trying to go against you. It's conspiring for you. It's just a matter of how much are you stopping yourself? How much are you self-sabotaging and getting in your own way and stopping your success out of fear, out of 
these icky patterns that we carry that you don't even realize you're holding. You have to be willing to let them go. And that's really hard, right? We all have these self-sabotaging patterns, but we cling to them like crazy. And this is a little bit of what I talked about last week is when we don't wanna get rid of those patterns, we just want the money to flow, we want the abundance to come, it becomes really frustrating for us. Like, well, it happened for this person, it happened for this other person, why can't it just happen for me? And the answer is it can. It's yours already, all you have to do is claim it. But you have to be willing to do the shadow work because that's when everything clicks into alignment. Someone said needed to hear this today. Girl, I got you. I needed to hear this once too. It was so important for me to recognize that shadow work was all that it took to just make everything switch. And I'll tell you guys a little bit about my own business story. I started my business when I was 22. I was 22 years old. Fresh out of graduate school, I went to school a little bit young, so I graduated graduate school when I was 22 years old and I immediately hopped into business with all these ideas of how amazing it was gonna be. I was gonna have this psychotherapy practice that people were dying to go to, all the clients were gonna come through, it was gonna be amazing. And I spent about six years trudging through the mud, working so hard to get people to come through, doing all the right things, giving free talks, um, networking with everybody that you could possibly think of, writing letters to doctor's offices, letting them know I was here. I was ready, send your clients, bring them on. And it wasn't until I actually did my own shadow work that that stuff started to happen on its own. Where once I went into the shadow and saw how I self-sabotaged, how I brought fear into the equation so often for myself as we all do. And when I recognized that I was doing these things, I was able to heal them and to change them. And very naturally, without doing any extra work, no advertising, no more talks, I stopped doing them because it was just an energetic imbalance that I was just giving away so much of myself for free. I stopped networking with people. I stopped doing all that extra stuff. All I did was shadow work. Guess what changed? My business went from one that I was making next to nothing. It was a glorified hobby to making multiple six figures, which is where I'm at now. And I have so many other skills and tools that I've integrated since. So many other things that I've added in on top to make that amplify. Things like Kundalini Yoga, which just takes the aura and like, like explodes it and makes you into a magnet for success. But you can't hold that success if your aura is clouded. If you do Kundalini, like, man, I'm just gonna just pop this off and I'm gonna make my aura so magnetic, but you haven't gone and done the shadow work it gets brighter and then it just kind of clouds right up. Like you didn't actually get to the root of what it was that was stopping this in the first place. We have to get to the root of our problems. Guys, this is 2020. You guys have seen what happens when we don't get to the root of our problems. So many issues compound when we ignore them. When we pretend like these things don't exist, all we're doing is suppressing them. We're not eliminating them. And we are so conditioned to suppress issues instead of facing them head on. Think about our medical system. Think about the way that we view our medical system. I have a symptom and instead of finding out what caused the symptom in the first place, I go to a doctor who gives me a pill to suppress the symptom and we never figured out why it showed up originally. It's brilliant, right? It's a brilliant marketing model because eventually I'm gonna have to go back again. I'm gonna have to go back and get another pill when that symptom shows back up. Or maybe it's a different symptom of the same problem expressing itself in a different way. And that's bullshit. That's not the way that this is supposed to go. We are meant to heal ourselves from the inside out. We are meant to do the work to pull it out from the root and eliminate it completely. We're not meant to just keep going back and getting fed another pill. Shadow work is all about getting to the root of the problem and pulling it out for good. And when we do that, when we actually pull this stuff out for good and release it and let it go, our life changes, period. Abundance flows. Clients flow to you. Energy flows to you. Everything becomes easy, which is how it's meant to be. It's not meant to be hard. None of this is meant to be hard. And the more you can address those self-sabotaging things that you do through shadow work, the less you're gonna do them. I've had this come up so many times for myself where I've done things that are self-sabotaging, do the shadow work, and all of a sudden that self-sabotaging thing doesn't feel good anymore. I don't 
look to do it the way that I used to. I don't even try to. Things like simple things, like I used to binge watch TV and I would eat poorly and not want to actually move my body, not connect in with the earth. And as I did the shadow work, all of a sudden, I don't want to do those things anymore. I crave the opposite. I crave things that make me feel good from the inside out. Because once all that muck that's in the aura gets out of the way, you want to stay feeling that good. Those self-sabotaging things that you were doing before don't light you up. They never did. You just couldn't see it. And so it's so important for us to recognize this pattern and how this shows up in our business because our business is an extension of us. So all the things you think you're doing behind the scenes, like if you're a coach or someone who's interested in being a coach, if you're behind the scenes like, well, I'll get to that tomorrow. I'm not going to answer that client email. I'm not going to spend the time to really think about how to best serve people, what I can do to heal them. I'm just going to put this out there. I'm just going to self-sabotage essentially, right? People are going to smell that bullshit from a mile away because your business is an extension of you. When you are unhealed, your business is unhealed. You have to do the work. If not for you, if not for you, it's for all of the people that you serve. It's for your ancestors. It's for the people who have yet to come down your line, your children, your children's children. All this stuff compounds and you are the key to breaking out of it. And in 2020, we need that more than ever. We need people who are willing to do the work to go inwards and heal themselves and the generations that came before and the generations that are to come. And the universe wants you to be abundant. It rewards the work that you do. And so when you put the time in and you heal yourself and you figure out these simple patterns of like, I fill myself up, I make myself feel good. I share that with the world. It comes right back every single time. It always comes back. Yeah. It comes back every single time because it's meant to. This universe is all about putting out so much love and loving energy and amazing vibrations and they find their way back to you. And so if you guys have ever felt like your abundant stuff is blocked in some way and you're trying all of these divine masculine tools or really wounded masculine tools to make it happen, like to force it, to do all these icky things that make it feel like it's not in alignment with who you are, it might be time to think about shadow work as the way to get out of it. It might be time to consider that your business will heal from you healing, that you will heal others as you heal, and that there's so much that you're gonna learn about yourself, so much inner knowing that you have that comes through when you do this stuff. You might be carrying some weird money stories around from ancestors, from your parents, from past lives that you don't even remember. And so when you try and let money come through the door, you block it or you block yourself to receiving. And that's how you self-sabotage. A silly example of this that I used to do all the time is people would offer to help me. And without even thinking about it, I would just say, oh, no, thank you. Not because I didn't want help, but because I was taught at a young age that I'm supposed to be independent and do things my way. And it has to be hard, but it does not have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard at all. And so it's a little switch that I made after I did that shadow work is whenever someone offers something, I just say yes. Someone wants to babysit my kids that I trust, of course. If someone wants to do something for me that is just really nice, like a thoughtful little gift, thank you. That's so nice of you. I open myself up to receiving as I heal that block. And these little things make such a difference because when you open yourself up to receiving on one level, it happens on all levels. It happens everywhere. You have to be willing to face the things that don't feel like they're really exciting or like they might even be scary. People say to me all the time, shadow work, it sounds scary, it sounds intense. What will happen if I actually do the shadow work and it starts to scare me? And the answer is you'll change. You will change, you will grow, you will evolve as a person, you will become the best version of you. Doesn't that sound like something worth doing? I mean, it did for me. And it does for all the people that join the Create Your Light Academy, which is my signature group program. And so if you guys have any questions, make sure you post them. But I did promise that I would offer up a big announcement at the end of this talk today. So I'm going to throw it out there now as you guys comment. And that announcement is that the Create Your Light Academy went through an upgrade. And I extended out the time period and I added a whole lot of yummy goodness into it. Things that are meant to just man, crack you open, transform who you are as a person, take you from one level to like lifetimes ahead of where that was. 
And so the program that used to be six weeks long is now a two month endeavor with two private sessions with me, one in the beginning and one in the end. And in the first, we dive into your past life. We find the most important, the most prominent past life that you had that holds the most shadow. And we actively pull as much out of it as we can to heal it and make like massive transformation. And in the second one, the second one-to-one, -one, we are going to be doing a full soul code activation where you find out what you're here to do on this planet and we activate the light codes within you so that you can step into that role in the most aligned, clear, incredible way. Because you're here for a reason. Your soul chose to be here in 2020, which honestly, like, let's be honest, this time feels like it sucks, right? Except it doesn't. This is a time of massive transformation and you chose to be here. So don't you wanna know why? Now is the time. Now's the time to activate this. Now is the time to step into this level of leadership. And for those of you who came on here to hear about business, now is the time to be of service to as many people as you can because the world needs you. We need you, we need your special gifts right now. We need the healing that your soul has to offer. And so I'm so excited to have expanded out the Create Your Light Academy and to take it to the next level. I've also incorporated a couple of other extra juicy, yummy things that are gonna be included in it, like private Reiki sessions scattered throughout and other fun pieces that I'll let you guys know about later. But I'm so excited and so honored to be able to work with people to help them do the thing that really changed my life. Nothing has changed my life more than shadow work, nothing. And that's through a cancer diagnosis and cancer battle that I went through years ago. Shadow work was the most transformative through launching this version of my business and making it into a multiple six figure business. Nothing has done more transformati transformational work for me than shadow work. And so I'm here to share it with you. If you want to learn more about the program, just DM me. I haven't even actively opened enrollment and I already have four women who've signed up. So the spots are limited and I didn't even open up the enrollment for the October Collective yet. I would love to have you be a part of it. I would love to have you connect in with your soul, your mission to remove all the stuff that's stopping you from being the most aligned, authentic, highest version of you possible. So that your life just feels as effortless as it was always meant to. All right, you guys, I will see you all next week on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, guys.